I had a chance to check out the town of Corsicana, Texas on this road trip where I had spent some time in Fort Worth and I had a good amount of gigs where I was playing music there and I'm looking forward to getting into the Houston area where I got a healthy amount of gigs going on there in the month ahead. Corsicana is located 55 miles southeast of Dallas, and so it's about an hour's of drive to get to the middle of Dallas from Corsicana. And you can also commute from Corsicana into Tyler or Waco, and so those are some of the areas that folks go from here to find some other things to do and find some other forms of entertainment. The population of this town is around 25,000 people. And they do have a lower cost of living there, and they have a pretty uh, stable, consistent population of people that are living here. It's very focused around the agriculture, so it's kind of an agribusiness center. They got some manufacturing and healthcare, retail, and education are big components of uh, the jobs that folks have here in this town. And it is a town that is rich in oil history. This was uh, where oil was first discovered west of the Mississippi, and it's the first Texas oil boom town. And so at one point, it was very wealthy and drawn a lot of people in because of that. And they still celebrate their rich uh, oil history here with their Derrick Days event, which is going on for 40 years now. The town does have a pretty good amount of performing arts culture going on. They have a warehouse living arts center, and they've got the Palace Theater here. They're excited about the Russell Stovers that exist here, where you can go and buy some chocolates. And they're proud of the history with Wolf Chili. They are the home of the original Wolf brand chili recipe that goes all the way back to the late 1800s, where the first bowls of chili were served right here in this historic downtown area. So that's the footage that I've been showing is from the downtown area, which has 25 blocks of historic buildings. This is along Main Street, and then even the offshoots of Main Street have little rows of historic buildings, too, that even can rival the rows of historic buildings in smaller towns all across Texas. So they're known for having a very big downtown area, which I suppose is related to that strong oil history, although as you could see now today, it's not super active on a Sunday. Not too many cars are parked out here. Not too many people are walking around. But I had a good time walking around and uh, exploring and checking it out, looking at the nice uh, architecture here, the brick buildings and the old school looking buildings. Today you can find that the businesses here are a range of businesses from florists, cafes, restaurants, and they got shopping, including uh, antique stores. You could get some loans, and they've got some statues that are scattered about too that are notable and interesting. This place is called the Fruitcake Capital of the World, and they're very proud of the Collins Street Bakery here. That's the reason why they make that claim. And you've probably seen, if you've been driving around Texas, the billboards for Collins Street Bakery, and so I had to stop by and check it out. They've got a location that's right by this downtown area. It goes back to the late 1800s with the German immigrant who uh, started making the uh, bakery items here, where they're particularly known for that deluxe fruit cake and the cherry icebox cookies are really popular too. In terms of live music, they got a decent amount of options here. There's a Casaro Winery right there in the downtown area. I talked about the Palace Theater already. They've got live music going on there. They've got the Corsicana Opry and Corsicana Steakhouse. And a little bit out of the way of the downtown strip here is Marshall's Tavern featuring live music. And they've got also Moon Tower at the Oaks a couple miles away down the road right by a golf course. So I had a good time exploring here on a drive from Fort Worth down to Houston. Driving this old truck Far as it'll go Till it breaks down Breaks down on the side of the road Turning this old engine till it turns into smoke And it breaks down, breaks down on the side of the road Cause it's a long, long time we got a long way to go Before we break down, break down on the side of the road Thank you for checking out this video and I'm posting videos all about the live music scene of Texas and touring around Texas. 
So click on my YouTube channel and check out all the thumbnails on there and see if there's any topics that are interesting to you and check out those videos. And thank you for your support.